teach this strategy to your seven, eight year olds for subtraction and they'll think about numbers in a whole new way. Instead of setting this up vertically and regrouping to find the answer, it's pretty simple for children to think about this idea of finding the difference as if they're climbing from the lowest value to the highest value. What I'm suggesting is that kids think about how to grow from 86 to 215 by finding these like friendly numbers or round numbers that are easy to think about. So 86 plus 14 is 100, 100 more to get to 200, and then 15 more to get to 215. So the answer to this problem is 129. It's the sum of the three parts. And I think this builds number sense in young children and it's a great way to do mental math. Besides building number sense, this method also alleviates the problem of regrouping and maybe crossing out a zero and making it a 10 versus a nine. But for this one, 865 minus 491, I would just think about it takes nine to get to 500, and then it takes 300, so this is 500 say, this is 800, this is the difference, and then you're left with 65 more, you get 865, so the sum of all these is 374. I mean, this is like an add-on method. You can call it the mountain method for kids if you want to make it fun, but challenge your kids to do it different ways. There are different ways to break up the number to get from point A to point B. Have fun. Oh, but also, I am going live this week, so it'll be in the evening, East Coast time, around 5 or 6 p.m. Hope to see you there. And if you have a topic you want to cover, let me know. Thanks.